Hello YouTube and the internet, this is Dark Vigilante, bringing you part 5 of my Coolbot series of videos, a working Diablo 2 bot for version 1.14d on public Battle.net servers. In this video I'm going to be going over how to edit your character configuration file for the first time. As a side note, I'd like to tell you guys that in this video I will be skipping some things that people would consider to be important to them. Keep in mind that this is just a basic setup and that it isn't necessarily going to work for everybody in the exact way that they want it to. This is just going to be an overview or a very basic way to get the bot up and running and not to lose any items or potions. So beyond that, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find our coal bot folder or whatever you named it and wherever you placed it. Open that up, go to D2BS, coal bot, libs, config, and then we need to find our character's name down here that we're going to use the bot with. Now, if you did the last step, you should already have a character configuration file created, and this is where it placed it. Now, one more thing before we get started. Please download one of the two programs that's down in the description, and those programs are going to be either Sublime Text, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys in the video here, or Notepad++. The reason for these programs is it not only color codes, but it gives you line numbers, and it'll even tell you when you mess up. So very important very very helpful especially if you're not used to this kind of editing to obtain these programs or one or the other all right so we're going to go ahead and open it and you're going to see exactly what i mean by the line numbers and of course the color coding so the first thing we're going to edit is line number 17 and when you guys start yours it will say true we need to change this to false if you do not change line number 17 where it says true and false your bot will stand in town and not do anything. And you may even receive an error. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what happens, but I do know that it won't actually go and do what we need it to do. So change that to false. Also, just as a little side note, as you could see there, I had a one by that. See how it turns white? White means that it's not actually going to do anything. It's kind of like a description indicator. So if I delete the one, it turns back to purple. And purple means that that's an actual action. So just so you guys understand that. And then next up, we have the different areas that we can go to. So this is fairly self-explanatory. If you know the game, and hopefully you do by this point, you can change these to whichever areas you want your bot to run. Now, for example, I've changed line number 49 to true. Kill Andario. Same thing with line number 63. And, of course, number 75 for Mephisto. Diablo, however, is a little bit more tricky. Diablo, you not only have to turn line number 83 to true, but then you have to decide whether you want Di the Diablo runs to start at the entrance or at the star. And do you want the bot to say these sayings as they're going through? Now, if you've done a tall before, you know that you can delete these and just leave the quotation marks so they won't say anything. And that's highly recommended to not have the bot say anything whatsoever. I don't believe that it's the same type of issue with D2BS, but I could be mistaken. And honestly, why take the risk? especially if you're botting by yourself, which is how I'm showing everybody to do this in these videos, there's really no reason for your bot to see any of these messages anyway. Moving along here, I'm going to skip over this. Like I said before, I want to keep this fairly simple. And this is the next most important part. So you can see some zeros and some ones down here in the config inventory. 0, 1, 2, and 3, which is 4 rows and 10 across. This is your character's inventory, not the stash and not the cube, but your actual inventory when you hit I. And this needs to be configured correctly so that you don't lose items like Anahilis and Torch and stuff like that. So if you want the bot to manage the slot, meaning if you want the bot to take and move things in and out of those slots, you need to put a 1, as you can see here. If you don't want the bot to manage the slot and you want the bot to leave the items that are there, say a small charm or a large charm, grand charm, whatever the case may be, place a zero, and it is zero by default, by the way. This will all be zeros when you're looking at it. And the zeros will keep whatever item is there, there. So what I highly suggest you do is load up Diablo 2, not in the bot program, and take a screenshot of your inventory, or at least if you have good memory, just take a look and see what's there, and then replicate that over here so that you don't lose anything that you might want. Next up, we have our potion belt, and you can see 0, 1, 2, and 3. That corresponds to 1, 2, 3, 4 in the game. And HP stands for health potion, MP stands for mana potion, 
and RV stands for rejuvenation potion. If you don't like those potion settings, you need to change it to the ones that you do want. So say you want all rejuvenation potions, you need to change RV to all four of the columns. Next up, and probably one of the most important parts, is we need to tell the bot how to attack. And what this means is what skill or skills will we be using in order to attack. So I'm going to go over a couple of skills, and I think these are probably going to be the most important ones to use. I'm going to show you just briefly how to plug those in. So the pre-attack skill, most of the time, in this case, with a sorceress and a paladin, you're probably not going to use those. So I'm going to start with the sorceress. And let me see if I can find her skills real quick. Here we go. For example, if we want to use Blizzard, Blizzard is number 59. So, okay, here we go. So 59. So we're a pure Blizzard sort, let's say. We're going to put 59 in the primary. We're going to put 59 in the secondary. We're going to put 59 in the primary to others. Uh, you can even do the untimed one. Why not? And then if the monster is immune to the primary, do you want to use a different skill? Well, let's say we have um, Fireball, for example. Fireball is number 47. We can use Fireball on a, on a cold immune monster. So that's just an idea of how you need to fill this out. The pre-attack skill is not as important. The primary and secondary attack skills are important. Now, you're probably wondering where I got those numbers from. Well, I'm going to link you guys to a website, again, a GitHub link, that actually shows you these numbers are the ones you're going to use, not these ones. And these ones correspond to the actual skill. So 51 is Firewall, 52 is Enchant, etc., etc. So again, link in the description so that you guys have that, so that you're able to do what I just did and reference that list and plug it in. I'm not going to show you the Paladin one because it's exactly the same process. You need to fill out all the ones that you can if you're able to. You don't have to do the secondary skill if immune. It's not needed. However, I do suggest it if you have it. Um, and lastly, make sure you guys click the Save button up here, File, and Save. You control S, and that will also save it. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe. You guys can check out my Patreon if you want to support me financially, if you're able to. I hope you guys have a good one.